help friends, family, staff, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. This year has been anything but the textbook definition of that old saying, senior year flies by. I know I speak for everyone when I say, this is not the senior year we dreamt of our entire lives, nor is it anything we could have prepared for. With that being said, it is important to never lose sight of what we accomplished our years here at Revis. In times like these, it's easy to dwell on what we didn't get to do, but what about everything that we did? This group is filled with conference, regional, and state champions. Whether you excelled in academics, athletics, or activities, we all accomplished great things. We did that, and that's something none of us, no one will ever be able to take away from us. Whether you dread leaving Redis, Revis or jump in excitement, we all left our mark here, some way, somehow. I couldn't have done it without the help from my friends, family, teachers. And I know, and I'm sure you can all agree with me on that one. The stay at home order has given me a lot of time to think about my years here at Revis. If there's anything that I'll miss the most, it is without a doubt the teachers. Like Mr. Terlecki, who once told the class to stop being so serious during their speeches and smile, have a little personality like Adamari. Little did he know that smiling and making a joke here and there is how I cope with my fear of public speaking. Or Mrs. Poulos, who I had this year for freelance writing. I wish our paths would have crossed sooner. Mrs. Poulos gave me something to look forward to in the morning, and it wasn't just the snacks that she brought in, although she might like to think so. I'll also miss the three stooges of music, Kelly, Davis, and Faust. Being involved in the band here for four years not only allowed me to continue my passion for music, it also gave me a safe space. And I must say, some of those bus rides back from competitions are among my fondest memories here at Revis. And lastly, I could never forget about Mr. Basil. He saw potential in me as a beginning artist my freshman year and pushed me to not be so hard on myself, not only when it came to my art, but life too. Many people have told me that I'm a completely different, far more positive person from freshman year, and I owe much of that to Mr. Basil. I truly do believe that the staff here at Revis are unlike any other, and I think I speak for everyone when I say that each and every one of us have had a teacher or coach that have left a significant impact on our lives. Now it is our turn to leave our mark on the world. If I could leave you with any advice, it is to never give up. Seeing my parents work long hours at their blue collar jobs reminds me of this lesson every single day. Despite many challenges, they never gave up. Without their sacrifices and determination, I would not stand before you today as your senior class president. These past few months have presented us all with challenges that none of us were prepared for. Whether those issues were with e-learning or with our personal lives, we were left shooting in the dark. There will be many more challenges like these as we enter adulthood. We have already had a taste of it. We thought graduation would be our biggest challenge of the year, and then we got an entire pandemic thrown at us. However, when we cross that stage today, even if it is in a parking lot, it only proves that every single one of us can overcome anything with a bit of determination. We, have, we may have felt lost or unsure at times, but we didn't allow ourselves to stay stuck. We pushed, we pushed forward and we persevered. So whether you go to college, the military, into a trade, pursue an artistic career, or go directly into the workforce, Never give up. Don't settle for comfort or good enough. Never lose sight of your goals because one day you will accomplish them. I wish each and every one of you good luck and good health. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020.